Gold fields are one of my favorite gold stocks, especially if you want a direct exposure to gold, but you can't buy the gold bars themselves, then maybe this is a stock you should be having a look at. Now, they're South African based and they get involved in production around the world. They're also dabbling a bit of copper, a bit of other precious metals exploration. They also hold gold reserves. They can be traded as a US ADR stock or using other methods. And I'm going to show you in this video how you can get involved with them if you so choose. And I'm also going to look into the technical analysis you know, there's a bit of you know background charting to see where their price may be heading next. So with that, let's take a look at the charts. Straight into the weekly line chart for gold fields, you can see really from 2014 all the way up to 2020, it was very range bound between th you know late 3000s to 8000, and then it snapped on up when. Covid really hit in, in the spring of 2020 up to highs of nearly 24,000 before pulling off back into what looks like a an interesting price zone between sort of 16,000 and 13 and a half thousand and then in the last few weeks has broken on up and is forcing its way back to the highs if you can break those highs, then 29,000, 32,000, not out of the question in the longer term. Now, downside wise, if it fails to break highs and reverses back, then again, like I said, it's that zone 15,862, 13,454, that's 61.8% and 50% Fibonacci line. And down to the bottom of that pink line, which is around about 12,000, that's probably the pullback area of consolidation. For you bears out there looking for reversals in the price back against the trend, then we've got two entry zones, 19,500 more aggressive and 19,000 more conservative on the four line break chart for you. And use that in conjunction with the stochastics to time your way in. What's the daily high Kanashi giving us? Well, the general feel is of bullishness. We head to the signals at the bottom, both on the up volume and volatility, also picking up above their longer term moving averages. Volatility there, 71% per annum, above its 59% longer term average. And heading on to the price, you can see the two standard deviation regression bands, light pink, light blue shaded areas. Price has been banging to the ups and downs with inside those bands and we've also got a breakout a few weeks ago in February um, on the two line pink box breakout setup we can see the price at the moment is exceeding the two standard deviation bands so maybe a short term pullback on the cards we have to watch and wait and see time that in you maybe use that four line break chart but overall at the moment goldfields feeling you know a bit more bullish and the Renko chart I've used a 200 point block size all our signals and trend the DMI at the bottom there all bullish heading on to the price you see the trend has been up and I've used the trend Fibonacci to get some potential numbers now to the downside I've got that red shaded area now that seems to be a key recent sort of consolidation zone in 2022 and that is between the 61.8% 38.2% lines which is a range of 18,000 to mid 15,000 and if we can break those highs around 21,865 then that green highlighted area which is just under you know, 25,000 to just over 26,000 could be the next shorter term upside targets but all looking bullish so how and where to trade goldfields then well i looked at the first trade account that i have you can use that as a us or international account to trade the stocks then i found them under the ticker gfi sitting there 
Good thing with first trade is it comes with a lot of analysis. Morning Star report there attached. Four stars out of five, saying it's 15% undervalued. But also, if you want to trade the options, also found the option chain available as well, which is really good because you can start to shape and create your own point of view, you know, positions using options and the stock as well. So, a good positive there from the first trade account. And if you want to actually trade the South African version of the stock the original then i found it on my trade nation account uh, which is spread betting cfds so you can go long short i say create your own point of view around it looks like good spreads as well competitive and maybe worth a look if you're outside the states let's give goldfields a score then well you can see it's bullish Heikenashi and Renko all looking very healthy up top right four line break chart numbers for you 19 and a half 9,000 if you want to go south targets upside three to one four to one downside 1.67 and 2.67 to one so healthy you need the direction but overall the um, outlook at the moment gold fields looking bullish so gold feels looking technically strong at the moment showing you a few places where you can trade it as well let me know in those comments what you think of gold fields bullish bearish where do you think the price is heading next let me know you want to discuss further in more detail then why not join our free traders club on discord where we discuss literally anything to do with trading put the link in the description below if you like today's video please give us the thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscription and bell buttons to receive future notification of content i'll be producing and all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching good luck with the trading and i'll see you in the next video